Hey guys, welcome to the Hot Bites Fishing Report. We're into the first week of July. Fishing is exactly what the report says. It's really heating up. The temperature is hot. The fish all around the Horn in Michigan are going well, especially the Great Lakes region. Stay tuned, five great reports coming right at you. So hey, first stop of the day is Lake Erie, and it's kind of like Lake Erie all the way through to the Central Basin because we've got hot bites coming from Captain Kelly Schmidt at Irregardless out of Port Clinton. He says they're getting limits of fish, fast limits of fish, pulling um, trip Z's, uh, 30 and 40 jets, and uh, mini spoons, Dreamweaver mini spoons, doing really, really well catching, like I say, fast limits of fish. If you're looking for an awesome charter or you're looking to just take your boat somewhere where you got guaranteed fish, the area all around Kelly's Island and Kelly's Island even now to the east out in front of Huron is really producing lots of nice fish off that little drop edge from 40 to 50 feet as it gets deeper going east there from Kelly Island. There's just a lot of fish in that range and in that region and uh, they're really easy to catch. They're basically 10 to 20 down, which makes them really accessible. And you can catch them, like I say, on anything from bandits, but the hot bait has been the jets and the spoons uh, going about two and a half miles an hour. So if you keep going east of there, you're gonna bump into Captain Gary Zolt, Zart and Blue Dolphin walleye charters out of Lorraine, same situation. He's pounding on really, really nice average quality fish. Two and a half to four pound fish are really normal there, getting lots of bigger fish, fives and sixes. And if you want the biggest fish right now going on, run all the way to Ashtabula, visit with my friend Chris Hoops from HL&S Hook, Line and Sinker Charters right out of Ashtabula, and they are on really nice fish. A lot of four to six pound fish, uh, uh, the occasional eight and nine pounder as well. Of course, it's deeper water out in front of Ashtabula, but that whole stretch of Lake Erie, the whole Ohio pole basically, from the Michigan line all the way now, you've got fish scattered all over the place. Very easy to catch depths, not too deep in the water column, catching them on a mix of spoons, mix of bandits, mix of, uh, as you get deeper over to, from Lorraine out towards Ashtabula, you're gonna go ahead and use a lot more dipsies and bigger spoons, Dreamweaver Super Slims, a lot of brightly colored stuff, but get out to Lake Erie. It is absolute midsummer hot bite going on on the whole Lake Erie, Ohio shoreline right now. Here's our HBTS-100. This is our hybrid tube style rod holder right here. Uh, oval base on it, all aluminum base. We incorporated it in for 2020, just like our cradle, our new hybrid series we're doing. So all heavy duty molded tube. Our squeeze button adjustability right here on the side. We just squeeze this in, adjust it up and down to our different positions, and we can bring it right back inside the boat. Just kind of showing you how it works there. And then, uh, Give you a lot of different fishing positions out of it, stand it straight up and down. And then on our hybrid uh, cradle and tube styles, our oval base still provides us the 45 degrees of rotation uh, turning so we can fish in different locations out of there. So our HBTS-100, uh, check it out at TraxTech.com. So we're gonna go back to Alpena. Alpena, Michigan is one of our go-to ports here in Michigan. It seems like Captain Steve Hubert and Chum Bucket Charters is always on fish. He called me the other night and said, look at my Facebook page because the fishing is, he calls it stupid. And that's exactly what it is. The fishing has been absolutely lights out from the start of the fishing season right up until now. Now, the cool thing about right now with Steve is that earlier on, it seemed to be a lot more consistent lake trout. Now, really good quality lake trout. But in that last week or two, he has really seen a big uptick in silver. So he's catching a lot more steelhead and he's catching a lot more Atlantic salmon than he had been in previous trips. So now when you're going out with Steve, you're getting those 10, 12, 15 fish days, but you're getting kind of five, five, and five. You're getting a mix of all of them and throwing the random bonus walleye into the mix as well. Now, Steve has got a few... Let me grab them for you. A few suggestions here. Now these are Dreamweaver Super Slims. Now these are Steve, three of Steve's hottest baits. So if you're paying attention and you're gonna fish Lakers, 
Steve is a huge believer in the Super Slims in these brightly colored, so we'll go through it. This is a Captain Gary uh, Michigan doll. This is a mixed veggies on gold, and this is an orange leopard. Now these three have put a zillion fish in the boat so far this year and last year. The thing about the orange leopard is it's the one with the dots. It's really been a lights out color for Steve. And he also seems to pick up, if you notice the common denominator here is the orange. It seems like up there in that Alpena region, if you got some orange on your lure, whether it's a silverback or a goldback, you can really do well catching fish. Now, if you're wondering how he's presenting his bait, fish are just a little bit deeper now. So it seems like the 125 to 200 leads, uh, copper lines are producing more than the 75s. So it seems like the fish have settled down in the zone just a little bit. Of course, he's running high and low divers and riggers as well, and he's catching a lot of really good fish on those. But Steve will keep his baits up in the zone, trying for those silver fish and just taking the Lakers as they come. And that's another cool thing about Alpena. You can go that 2.5 to 2.7, which is silver fish speed, and get those Lakers to actually trigger at that speed. So it doesn't seem to hurt you. So if you're looking for a great charter, I don't even know if Steve's got any left this year. It's that good. You can check in with Steve at Chum Bucket Charters and head up to the port of Alpena. If he doesn't have anything left, he's usually pretty good about telling people what to do and generally where to go. And you can haul your boat up there and experience this great Alpena sunrise side fishing. You know, if you're an angler, you need space for all your stuff. I'm Captain Lance Valentine. Let me show you how the Polar Craft Kodiak gives you enough room to put everything you need for a great day of fishing. A huge rod locker to hold a bunch of rods with battery storage underneath for your front trolling motor. Two sides of wing storage to put all your tackle boxes and all the stuff you need for fishing. And an in-floor spot to put wet storage. Anchors, ropes, drift socks, and everything you have to have a good day on the water. Hey, visit your local Polar Craft dealer and check out the Kodiak and all the really cool features. You're going to love what you see. So our next port has been just absolutely stellar all year long, and that's the Drummond Island Lower St. Mary's River. So basically from Detour to Manus from Manuskong to Detour to Drummond, that Lower St. Mary's, whether you leave up out of Sault Ste. Marie or whether you just stop and, and hole up in Drummond Island, which is an awesome experience, taking the ferry across, grabbing some rooms on Drummond Island and having that island feel. If you're looking for an awesome place, to, uh, to fish right now, it's gonna be that drum, Drummond Island area. So, hey, we've got walleyes going on in detour on the gravel bars, and we also got a mixed bag fishery going on for casting for northern pike and smallmouth bass in the bays. Now, if you're looking to get the northern pike, you're gonna be wanting to use, you know, regular bass spinner baits work really good. If you got something with a little orange on it or a little bit of rust color on it, it seems to imitate uh, the, the crayfish up there really well, and it seems like you really get a lot of northern pike hitting that. Of course, bass are coming off the spawn right now, so they're going to hit that spinner bait as well. Otherwise, chucking a swim bait works really good for the bass post spawn up there in that shallow water base and that, oh, let's say 10 to 12 and less. You get a lot of that good cabbage weed. You even get that cabbage weed out in front of Dan's Resort where there's a lot of walleye holding on that breakage where the river and the current come into contact with that bay weed. So that's the area you're targeting. But right now, the fishing is great. Big walleyes, nice limits of walleyes, really good limits of northern pike and bass going on. And if you head north, you can, you can also encounter some salmon in the St. Mary's River. So if you're looking for a place, a guide to take you out, we got a couple options there out of Drummond Island. We got Captain John Goble. John is an experienced captain in the local area. He's who provided this great report and the photos you're seeing. Also Captain Justin Bupp up there for Always an Adventure Charter. He's basically on that same group of fish and those two guys have really got that water kind of to themselves right now. So if you're looking to get out in the Drummond Island area, give John or Justin a call and they can try to fit you in. I know their, their, their schedules are getting pretty booked up. Now if you head north from there, Ken Smijinski, uh, from out of Sault Ste. Marie also fishes that center of the river area. He can put you on a really nice mixed bag bite as well. So whatever you do, get up, experience the St. Mary's River. There's nothing like a thousand foot freighter cruising by you while you're seeing eagles soar around and wildlife on the shore and catching fish all at the same time.
Are you in the market for a new trailer? For all your trailer needs, big or small, visit Beck's Trailer Superstore on Highway 127, north of St. John's. So the next report is from an area that we really, really are look, finding out is a really, really good fishery. And you know, people don't talk about that Straits area, that Mackinac Bridge Straits area as a fishing destination. Well, let me tell you what, we were up there earlier this year, we are going back next week, and we are hearing that the fishing for really good sized kings, also really nice Lakers and Atlantics are all going at the same time. And anytime you can put teens Lakers, teens Atlantics, and teen kings into the boat all on the same trip, let me tell you what, that's a good fishing spot. And that's what you're gonna get out of the St. Ignace and the Mackinac City area. And that's what we're kind of referring to. They're sandwiching what we call that Straits area. So how are they doing it? Well, they're catching them as, any, as you would with any presentation for salmon. Very traditional, just like you would on the west or east side of the state. They're running a mix of a couple of riggers, a high and low diver set, and probably a couple of, couple of rod, um, copper rods as well. And they're going to be running a pretty good mix of spoons and possibly a meat rig off the, off the riggers. So that's what seems to be the best. It does seem that when you get up north like that, the, the blues, like the UVs, this type, this is a green dolphin, just a regular old Dreamweaver green dolphin. Now, whether it's the super slim, I think you could probably this time of year jump up to the standard size or even a magnum. This seems to be a hot color. Also that uh, orange leopard that we talked about earlier. And if you're gonna run a meat rig, um, right here this olive oil color is a really good solid color for up there. Um, so yeah, I mean, just a standard meat rig, you know, you, Put the meat in and Dreamweaver has these, in these, uh, these meat insert strips frozen. You can get those at pretty much any major tackle store. But meat rigs are going on the riggers and spin doctors. And if you're looking for a spin doctor color, I got a suggestion for you here. Right here we go. It is the Chrome Two Face. And this with green dots has been a very, very effective spin doctor going on right now. So there's a few tips for that region. But whatever you do, whether you're basing below the bridge out of Mackinac City, or you're going to go ahead and cross the bridge and base yourself out of the Eastern Upper Peninsula in St. Ignace, both and either one are worth a couple of days of your time. Now, if you're looking for a great charter captain experience up there, out of Mackinac City, you got Captain John Roby, and out of uh, and and he's on Chase and Tail Charters. And if you cross the bridge, get up into St. Ignace, you got Chris Becker and North Shore Charters. Those two guys are decades long experienced charter captains out of that region and they can put you on the fish in quick order and you'll have a great time. You know, so many times you go up to these tourist destinations and you look around and you're surrounded by water and you fail to ever put two and two together that just like in Ludington or Manistee, when you're surrounded by Great Lakes water, it's a pretty good idea to get a charter, get out there and see what it's like. And if you do it in the Straits area, you won't be disappointed. Hey, are you in the market for a small outdoor shed, carport, or small storage building? Visit my friends up at Midwest Steel Carports. They'll travel anywhere in the Lower Peninsula to install your shed or carport for you. Visit them online at MidwestSteelCarports.com. Hey, we're here in Manistee for our last report. And this last report, I'm standing right here in the brand new digs of Tangled Tackle. That's right, Tangled Tackle has moved up the road. They're right now located directly across from Big Al's, and anybody who's from Manistee or goes through Manistee knows where Big Al's is. Well, now right across the street from them is Tangled Tackle, and Bud's got a really bigger space here. He's going to be able to serve customers better, and uh, he's going to be able to have all the baits that you need for the great inland lake fishing as well as great lakes fishing and river fishing that you get here in the Manistee area. But let's talk about the fishing. You know, we got a hot board here that Bud has up, and he does a live video report every Sunday, too. And he says right now, the Lakers are 85 to 115. That's the depth that he's finding the Lakers on. Now, when you're doing Lakers, you're pretty much fishing the bottom, whether you're using a combination of riggers and uh, high and low divers. That's basically the zone that the Lakers are in. They're biting really good on spin doctors and spoons. 
um, or spin doctors and flies, just, it, just pretty much anything. If you're down close to the bottom, you're going to do well. Now, if you're looking for silverfish specifically, 120 to 180 foot of water using either 8, 10, or 13 colors with spoons or 300 coppers with spoons. Now, the spoons, I grabbed uh, anything green. Basically, same thing as up north right now. Anything green, whether it's a meat rig, whether it's your spin doctor. Now, chromes have always been working well this year. So chrome, also the, the two-faced has been working well. Got some strikes on that last week on the spin doctor. But basically, greens and chromes have been the ticket right now for silverfish strikes. Meat rigs have been coming on. We've heard a lot of the charter captains saying that they're, they're starting to put a lot more meat rigs down. And that means you might have to slow up just a titch. But, uh, you know, the silvers are still in that 2.3 to 2.7 range somewhere. And, uh, you know, they're going to get better. We're just, we're literally just scratching the front of the season right here. A lot of people say, geez, where are the kings? Let me tell you where the kings are. The kings are coming. Because usually by the middle of July, the kings start to show up. By the end of July, they're hot and heavy, and they'll hang on all the way through until they make their runs up and they get past the pier heads and head on up into the rivers to spawn. So this is really just the start of the bigger fish season. So Manistee, get here. The town is open. It's lots of fun. Last week, I heard through northern Michigan, and the UP was literally stupid with people. There was people everywhere having a great time. Hey, if you're going to go and you're going to move around, why not go to areas that are safe? Why not go to areas that don't offer any threats to you? Those are small northern Michigan communities. That's where that type of tourist uh, opportunity is for you. And we tell you to get outside with your family or with friends, whether you're fishing, hiking, biking, you name it, the great north and the state of Michigan is the place to be. Hey, thanks for joining us on this week's Hot Bites Fishing Report. Thanks for joining us every week. We're getting crazy numbers on our viewers, 25, 30,000 views a week. We really appreciate it. We're just getting ready to do some more filming here next week, probably uh, for some Great Lakes fish. We've been waiting for the Kings to start, and we're here. We're seeing just enough of it to start planning trips. But whether we see you or whether we don't see you, get out on the water, get up north, experience the great state of Michigan and all the great outdoor activities it has to offer. We'll see you next week.